<laughs> we're gonna get going here and just say really what we kind of want to do is you just guys talk and tell stories like a round table type type deal i don't know how you want to start it off uh you know i've heard great stories from several of you guys we can't so. tell those are wives well, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what, what happens on the road stays on the stays road, on the road. <laughs> what happens in the room stays in the room uh, I want to tell, can i tell a story uh, sure. yeah sure. yeah i think Thanks you guys remember story. here's yeah. a story right here okay we were playing yeah. against quebec one night Worst Quebec. In, <laughs> Quebec in t in town. We we're playing a home game. Jim Dory. You remember Jim Dory yeah, of the yeah. fame? He'd put two rows of cotton batten in his in his pads yeah. to make his knees look really good. <laughs> yeah. Make sure his hair was perfect and all that kind. You remember Jim? Uh, Dory. Yes, yes. Maple Leaf. Uh, Maple Leaf. Yeah. yeah. Went and played for Quebec. Yeah. So we're playing, and I believe it was Frank Beaton had been after Dory all night, and uh, he got a penalty. Frank got a penalty. It's not unusual for Frank to be in the penalty box. Yes. So he was in the penalty box, and Dory was on the power play. And every time Dory would bring the puck up the ice, Beat would hang out of the penalty box and just give him a rash of you-know-what. <laughs> I mean, just every time. So about the third or fourth time uh, on the power play, Dory's bringing the, the puck up the ice. And he stops at center ice. The play's going on. Dory stops with a puck of center ice, turns and takes a slap shot at the penalty box, trying to hit Beaton in the penalty box. I've never seen this before. A full out slap shot. Beaton ducks. Poor Randy Jackal. You remember him that sometimes used to uh, be really? a linesman? Anyways, he, okay. he was the guy in the penalty box. Remember, they used to have a guy that opened the door yeah, for open you. The door, well, he gets door, yeah. dinged right in the freaking head. Oh, my God. <laughs> With a slap shot. Where is that Frank Beaton? Is he, like, he, was he supposed to come to? Uh, he's, he's, in in Florida. Florida. he's in Florida. He's in Florida? I think he's in hiding. <laughs> 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 but anyways, he got hit in the head. They did hide him in a stick bag, and when we were in, we did. Uh, yeah, we did. in, in, in Indiana, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. <laughs> when, he, when he beat the person over the uh, oh, you have to get out to get out yeah, of the Corvette. place, eh? No, the guy got gas on his Corvette. Or something. Oh my God! Yeah, that's okay. another story in itself. Oh uh, yeah, some but, good uh, stories. Oh, fantastic. well, I'll, let me tell you a, so a story about the Jill Billadol. Well, Jill was the favorite in town here. You know, like uh, you always want to fight. He was. A good hockey player, but he was there more to get things going, you, you know. Think? Oh, you yes. Think? Oh, yes. I'm thinking. The word to use was goon. <laughs> <laughs> you might be yeah. right. We had more But games. anyway, one night, uh, he didn't want to play the game, so he uh, he told the coach, he said, I'm going to get in the fight right away, and I'll get, I'll get kicked out, you know. So as soon as we got on the ice, he just started fighting. Fight. He was fighting everywhere, in the penalty <laughs> box. So he got him out. And, uh, you know, th those guys, that's what they're doing oh, all the time. You know, and there's no, Jill is not the only one. You know, no. we know a lot of those. We had a lot. Uh, oh, we had a lot of those. Phil was one of those no, at the no, beginning. No. Were you, you know? on the ice for the St. Yeah. Valentine's Day massacre? No, I was, no, I was about 10th on the list. <laughs> Well, you toughness were, on the, you that were was the toughest team ever organized in hockey. Who's I want to say it still has the most penalty minutes yeah. ever Who? in professional hockey. That team. Which the Bulls. The Bulls. Had, well, he got I all, had four he, that year. He, yeah. four, he, got, he got all the goons coming in. I, you know, I worried the about Bano practice and, and I did. Uh, Beaton uh, and uh, who else was there? Serge Bordwine. Bordwine and, and Hanson. Uh, Hanson were, you, you know? were you guys on the team when uh, Dave Hanson pulled off Bobby Gold's hair? Oh, yeah. His wig. He pulled his wig out. That was Durbano did that. Durbano. Durbano did that. Durbano. Durbo. Durbo Oh, what's this? Bobby got a standing ovation when he came up with a helmet after he went back. But he went to apologize <laughs> after, though. That's when uh, Bobby Durbo it. came off the bench. Uh, I know, yeah. Big brawl. Uh, big, big brawl. Ball. When Durbo was in the, uh, got kicked out of the game, and he was fighting in the hallway with that guy he kept mouthing off with, and Brophy, no, I think Jill Leger came in and says, Guys, you got to come out in the uh, no, no, that quarter. Was Brophy. That was Brophy. Brophy there. said yeah, that. Yeah, says, yeah. you got to help. Uh, Durbano's getting uh, in a big fight out here in the hallway. And we know we, know, we went out there, and Durban was literally kicking the living I was against out Quebec there, too. Like, uh, uh, it was uh, unbelievable. But uh, Uggsy and, and Philly, remember when we were in Japan? Yeah, I, I, know, I, was, I missed that. I was one near too early. Oh, was I missed, that one? I missed that. Oh, well, we were, yeah. Remember when you what threw all the sticks Kansas at the beginning? Of the, oh. And in Japan, we were playing in, uh, I think it was in Tokyo. Uh, uh, Phil, you remind me if I'm not, if I'm wrong. But uh, in the arena, you could smell fish. It was <laughs> unbelievable. But everybody was bring their sushi inside the, <laughs> inside the arena. <laughs> oh, my God. It was unbelievable. But anyway, the battle... He didn't want to play. He was with his wife. 
Oh. <laughs> Lisa? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's crazy. So he didn't want to play. He just she's started throwing all exactly the sticks right. on the ice, and the, the referee said, "You're out of here." In three minutes, he was dressed and getting ready to go. Like, you know. Uh, but he was he was a uh, he was a good great guy yeah. off the ice. Yep. You wanted I, him on your team. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. He would spend he would spend two hours fixing his stick. his hair. His, well, his stick. Oh, You're done with Gravano? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sharpening it. Sharpening <laughs> his stick. And then you know he wasn't a great turner on the ice. I mean, he couldn't really turn real quick, and somebody yeah. would go around him, and he would hack that guy, and break that uh, stick. Oh yeah, this and after he'd spent two hours working on that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he called me Cello, and he says, "Look, Cello, you and I are friends off the ice." He says, "But don't, don't come near me on the ice because oh, yeah. I'll kill you." <laughs> <laughs> but he was hey, like, minute. He was like that with everybody, though, on yeah, the ice. Yeah. Like you know, he was an animal and. Uh, I Off saw Larry Hillman chase him yeah. right out of the rink. Is that right, Larry <coughs> Hillman? Larry Hillman, he had done something to Larry. You know how Larry was yeah. straight and narrow. Yeah, the but he chased him. We were playing the first. My first ever professional game was against the Penguins in Pittsburgh when I played for Cleveland. Uh-huh. And Larry got stuck by Durbano. Who, Durbano was playing for Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh at the time. Did, yeah. And Larry chased him all the way around. There was about six minutes to go in the game. And he literally, Durbano, jumped the boards up over where the Zamboni came in, and he stood <laughs> on the other side of the glass and made faces at, uh, at Durbano. Boy, that just oh, killed uh, Durbano. Yeah. Anyways, they called the game, and we had to have a police escort out of that. You, you know, you're talking about those Hillmans, uh, the Hillmans brothers. They were right. two, Wayne and Larry. two Hillman, yeah. But they were farmers, and they were pretty stout, let me tell you. Wayne prairie dog. Yeah, prairie dog. Yeah, they were stout. Yeah. Mooner liked the. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, sure. Mooner, Mooner told him, I said, Mooner, why are we always sitting in the back of the plane? Oh, yeah. He says, You never heard of one backing into a mountain, have you? <laughs> <laughs> this guy was a classic. Here's oh. uh, it's Philadelphia. He was playing with the Flyers. Mooner was there, and Bob Kelly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another Smith. Hound dog. Right? Yeah. He, Hound well, dog. he was a rookie. Battleship? Yeah. Battleship. Yeah. Battleship. You played in Pittsburgh, too. He, he, was a, he was a rookie. Now, this is back in the 73. You know, Mooner comes home from the bar. <laughs> we we all stay at the same uh, complex, you know, hammered. Mooner comes in, goes to bed, goes in and goes to bed. Hell of a storm that night. Hell of a storm. They come out in the morning and, and this is before power windows in the car. You yeah, know. yeah. Come out in the morning and then we're getting ready to go to practice and Mooner says to the hound dog, he says, Why the hell didn't you put up my windows on my car when you came in? He says, I couldn't, he says the doors were locked. <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. Yeah. There was some good stories. There, yeah, Larry Hill. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah Durville is the reason I came to uh, Birmingham. I got a phone call, and it was uh, Gilles Leger. Gilles Leger. And, and he goes, uh, Phil, we're looking for a right winger. You want to come down to uh, Birmingham, Alabama and play? I said, ooh, where's Birmingham, Alabama? <laughs> At that time, I didn't even know Birmingham was yeah. on the map. Yeah. Right. So Durbel called me and he says, oh, you got to come down here. It's a great city, great, everything's perfect here. So I met the team in Winnipeg. And from that day on, uh, I've been here in Birmingham. Yeah, Love it here. Yeah. Love it. Kind of yeah, like too. my story, Phil. I was playing in Cleveland, and Cleveland uh, disbanded and went to Minnesota Fighting Saints. So a lot of contracts between the mm -hmm. two teams. And they sent me to Syracuse, uh, but I still had a contract. And then I was played fairly good. And they sent me to, to Birmingham, and I didn't even know Birmingham like you existed. Yeah. What the heck? I didn't know. But I got off. The, I'm a big golfer, as you guys know. And I got off the plane in December. It was 75 I degrees. Know. I said, the Ooh, this, is right. pretty, this is pretty. Yeah. Yeah. This is where I, I want to be. I can play hockey and golf <laughs> all year round. That was and my I'm choice, like, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. you, Phil. I'm, yeah. I'm well, sitting when, here when I retired because in, of that. Uh, like in 76, uh, I, I was still, I told my wife, I had like about the 16 years professional at that point in time. So I said to her, I said, you want to go back to Montreal? Or you want to stay here? She said, we want to stay here. Yeah. We're not, we're not going back to the exactly. snow. <laughs> I said, that's fine story. with me because. I, 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 I retired I, in 80 and I, you know. I did, I, I did kids, real well here. Three kids in school. I said, right. I could either go home and find a job right. or I could stay here and play golf. All year round. Yeah. This is not good. a tough choice. Birmingham is a uh, pretty good place. Yeah. Pretty and then good. I uh, I got uh, I got into con construction. I was uh, remodeling stores. Destruction or construction? Construction. <laughs> construction. 
With was, Jilly, too. Was it with Jilly? Yeah, with, yeah. Uh, when Jill came to yeah, work Jilly? with me after yeah, he retired. He was the destruction. He was a destruction. <laughs> and you had to fix it. But anyway, it. I got to meet the, the young Brunos, and then they said, yeah, we need a construction yeah, man. So I started, I stuff. did 20 years for them in construction. For all their uh, supermarkets. Though. Yeah, all the supermarkets. We were changing the decors inside. We yeah. were taking care of the landscaping. My son, Scott, w he was with me, too. Like He was working Fantastic. with Jill Bilodeau yeah. and... Uh, Three other guys too. So a lot of the a lot Very of the wives a lot of the wives though wouldn't let their guys stay here, would they? <laughs> they had to go back home. Well, that depends if you were married or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, a lot of people don't know, but uh, Birmingham came that close to being an NHL they team. Did. Yes, yeah. they did. When do. if Bassett John Bassett was healthy, I think it would have happened. But at that time, he wasn't too. Uh, well, too you see, John, John Bassett got a real bad rap too when he signed uh, uh, all the kids. Napier, the kids, all like the they kids. were not supposed to be signed until yeah, certain age. Yeah, and then he signed uh, Napier and Lindsman and all that. Those guys, the you know, baby bulls, the baby yeah, bulls. the baby bulls. Yeah, so they didn't. The NHL didn't like it. They, no, no, you they know, they were totally against it, and that's why he went into WHA. I'm surprised. I was telling somebody earlier that I'm surprised that only one of those baby bulls, which we all played with and knew, uh, has made it to the Hall of Fame. And that's um, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle Goulet. Goulet. Michelle Goulet. He's the only one that's so far in the Hall of Fame. Is that right? And Vive, he, he scored oh, oh, 50 yeah. goals just, plus I know. three years Rick in a row Vive, for yeah. Toronto. And Napier was really Captain popular in Toronto. Montreal, too. Napier was, oh, yeah. uh, he was one of the young guys, yeah. you know. The only guy I ever see burn a $100 bill. <laughs> Who, Napier? Is that right? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Napes. He was he was oh. uh, he was a character. I'll yeah. tell you. Napes, yeah. Napes is a character. Yes, yes. Anyway, great to see all you guys. Nice you to too. see you, Phil. Yeah. You too, Hugsy. Phil. Well, I'll Casey. be at the game, right? Oh yeah. Yes, I got I got to leave town tomorrow. Oh no. Oh, is that right? Oh. My, wife, my oh, mother in law passed yeah. away, okay. and we we're going up north to nice take care of her. You. Too bad. When was the last time you were on skates? Oof. I would say uh, twenty years ago. Phil. Ten. Ten. Good for you. I'll go five. You can I still think, play. Yeah, well, I was right out there. I just, uh, <laughs> is that why the ice is cracked? Playing with my grandson and took a dive. Down I went. <laughs> Three cracked ribs. That was it. You just said, no. I hurt my knees, too. I was I was skating. Three cracked ribs. No more. I went to Atlanta. You know, they got, like, a uh, shopping center uh, ice. And my friend yeah, yeah. said, oh, let's get, let's go uh, skate. So I, I wore those uh, figure skates. Oh, no. With the toe <laughs> Do you have a tutu then, on? <laughs> <laughs> then I went, to, you know, because skating, uh, uh, you know, figure skating, you skate oh, like yeah, this, and how can you skate like this? I know. So it, I felt hurt my knees. I yeah. said, no, no more. That's it for it's me. It's been 25 years since I. 25 was years, on. yeah. 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 Uh, I think the time I did it, uh, uh, New Orleans had a team in the ECHL, yeah. I think, years ago, and a friend of mine was their coach, a guy named Ted Sater. Had been there. He'd coached right. Buffalo and, and New York Rangers for a while. And he came into town. I said, Ted, uh, you mind if I come out there and skate after you guys have your morning, your skate? He said, oh, come on, Stu, no problem. I'll get the ice for you. So I went out there, and I was out there for about five minutes, seven minutes. He kept the goalie out there for yeah. me. And yeah. I came back, and he said, Stu, what are you doing back in here? I said, well, that's, that's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the kids uh -huh. on their team says, sir, you're... Your equipment should be in the Smithsonian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I said, okay, thanks. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, once you get off uh, off skates, or it's tough. And air, too. Oh, like, you yeah, can't yeah. breathe when you, you know, yeah. if you start skating a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's called out of shape. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Is that what they call it? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. I go, Phil? Exactly. <laughs> you and I were roommates one time. We are in Edmonton. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Well, Chinese that's food? A story yeah. <laughs> so Chinese this food. was after the game. Yeah, after the game, we were all colder than a whole oh, yeah. fan. And we, uh, we all went and we took a big go at our Chinese food to bring back to the room. And back then, everyone wore the uh, London Fog white yeah. raincoats or whatever yeah. you want to call it. So we're walking home in, Ed in Edmonton and turned the corner to go up to the hotel and that wind was just coming down. Jesus, it was cold. It was cold. And Phil's got the food like this year. I had <laughs> we, to carry the yeah. food. <laughs> we, get in the, we, we get in the elevator and, we're in the, and I said, what the hell? And this guy that is white trench coat was just full of hot and sour. So was, <laughs> he must have squeezed that sweet and sour chicken. It was all down. I guess, down. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> hey, Phil, show your, I'll show your ring. Is that it? This is a Stanley pretty, Cup ring, buddy. Pretty small by today's standard, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty 
pretty impressive. Yeah, though. that's that's, pretty impressive. that's impressive, buddy. Thank you. I'm glad I know you, Phil. Because yeah, I, I used to go after you all the time. You remember that? Yeah, I was ready for you. <laughs> Phil, what, what, what come with that, <laughs> you would come with that hip would check. You? Yes, yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You wouldn't see the hip check. Yeah, 71. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. Yeah. yeah. What were your sentiments at the time? No. Uh, Belleville. Belleville. And Mahabalich. Oh, well, of course, <laughs> Belleville and Mahabalich. I could have scored 50 yeah. goals, too, you know. I was out there not to score. <laughs> no, no, to take care of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the baby set. That's right, that's right, that's right. I remember that, Phil. Anyway, the good old years. Good old years, yeah. Some great players back then. That was not six teams, though. That was, that was just after expansion. Just after expansion. Yeah. I got okay. to play against uh, Bobby Orr. Yeah, yeah, me too. Right. He, to me, he I, was probably the the best? the best at the time. Yeah, yeah. At the I time. mean, uh, people ask me who the best player I think I ever played. But you against. can't. Besides President Company, I no. never exclude you, you guys. But um, you can't compare. Who, who, yeah, but, but, but when I played, people would say when we played with in the Gretzky years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You now we I played. Got, it when I got my choice. I'll wait. I got my okay. choice. Okay. Here was my choice. What I say, and you guys can disagree or, or agree. To me. A guy that could change the game at any time he wanted was Bobby Hall to me. Bobby Hall, yeah. Gretzky, fantastic. Oh, yeah. Well, it was but a different Bobby game Hall for them, too, you know. It really changed the game. Yeah, Do you remember skate. a guy named Gordy Howe? Oh, yeah, Ooh. Good. oh, this is true. First year, oh, we're in Detroit. Oh, I got him one there, too. I, me, too. I got so, a fight <laughs> breaks out back then. So, everybody would grab somebody. So, who's left for me to grab? Gordy. Gordy. So, I grab Gordy, like, drop my gloves, grab him like this. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> Looks me in the face and he goes, don't grab me like that kid. I'll put you over my knee. <laughs> yes, sir. Down the hands, man. I said, oh, okay. I mean, I, he was playing, I think, Detroit. Everybody's got a gorgeous yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go, go, go. The puck come back into our end. I went back to get it. Made a little, you know, play. Put it between Gordy's legs out to the winger. So, wait a minute. Jesus, a nice play. Couple, couple of shifts later, same thing. He's in the corner. I'm trying to get the puck and just boom, the lights go out. <laughs> he says, "Okay, kid, he says, kid, that was for last time." <laughs> <laughs> go well, on, my first game in Pittsburgh, we played in Detroit in the old Olympia, and then uh, my wife's grandfather lived in Windsor, Ontario, so they were li li listening to the uh, game on on uh, on television, and then I went to board him in the corner, you know. And coming out, he's giving yeah. me the elbow right in the face like this. It was in the paper the next day. Wow. The rookie and the vet. <laughs> oh, he just gave me the, the elbow. Well, he was good with his elbows, too, you know. Did he uh, knock your chicklets out? <laughs> he knocked I my was chicklets. playing uh, in Cleveland at the time, and we were playing in Houston when he played for the Arrows. Okay, oh. what, what's he, 48, 49 oh, years yeah. old or something oh, at least, back then? At least, yeah. So the puck goes into the corner in their end, and Gordy goes in to get it, and... Instinctively, I gave him a little nudge before we got there, like you're supposed yeah, to. You know, just give him a little, a little nudge. Well, he caught an edge. For some reason, he caught an edge, and down he went. The puck was behind him, and I'm standing, literally straddling Gordy Howe, looking down. My <laughs> head's here. His is head here, and I'm looking at him. And he took his stick and beat me over the face with it oh. about ten times like a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I would, I would and believe. Puck, the puck then went all the way back to the far, the far defense. I so I let him up, and I started skating through the slot area in front of the green, in front of that. He came behind me, and he gave me a jab. Oh, yeah. He in was the good back of the knee. <laughs> and honest to God, I think it came out the other side. A spearing, yeah. And yeah. he just kind of smirked as he went by. Oh, yeah. But I was not supposed to do that to the <laughs> oh, Mr. Gordy. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Getting back to the Mr. best Hockey. player. Best yeah. player ever played hockey, Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr? None. Not by Bar 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 none. Is that right, Bobby Orr? Oh, oh yeah. God, he yeah, beat, he would, beat the he hell was, of the, on two bad legs. Yeah, he was good offensively and defensively, too, you know. He could take control of a game. Of a yeah. game. By yes. himself. Yes, yes. Needed nobody else. But if you talk to the younger generation, now, they were not going to say Bobby Orr. You know, they're going to say like the guys are oh, playing yeah, right yeah. now. So. Yeah, the there was a lot yeah, of great players. You and oh, there was. Yeah. oh yeah. Well, well you, so that's what I said. Bill. You, you cannot There's compare. Not many teams. You I mean, cannot compare so players for players. You know, because yeah. it's a different game now. Right. And price, wise, price wise too. Price I'd wise, yeah. We wish we'd make millions of dollars like they do now. She we was played our for the love of the game. We made no money. <laughs> oh, we made no money at all. Cheevers was our goaltender in Cleveland. But oh, are you satisfied where you're at now? 
Yeah, happy. I'm very. I satisfied. wouldn't change it. I would not change no. it for the end of the oh, world. Yeah. We're playing in in, in in Cleveland one night, and uh, Winnipeg's in town with Hull, and Cheevers is our goaltender, and they were big buddies from Team Canada and all yeah, this kind yeah. of stuff. And I remember back then they had no regulation on how big your curve was could, uh, could be. Yeah, no. And I remember <laughs> Bobby Hall coming up to Cheevers before the in the warm up before the game and says. Jerry, you better watch your head tonight. I got some new sticks in, and I don't know where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Makita. Makita used to curve yeah. that thing just yeah. at the mm -hmm. end like this, you yeah. know? Woo. I'll tell you. Oh, yes. my God. I'm sure we could go on. For well, hours. yes, but uh, we're here for the Bulls, and uh, let's hope uh, the Bulls are going to do well. And um, and thank you very much for inviting yeah. us. Is it, that it, was nice to Legends see. Legends night, I hope, is guaranteed win night. Yes, yeah. yes, you're right. You're Joe? right. Joe? Right. You're right. Guaranteed win. Who are we playing? Uh, uh, Knoxville. Knoxville? Yeah. I think they're in the top, aren't they? Aren't they one of the? They're one of the top. They're top two. Yeah, that's what Is I that thought. right? That's what I thought. Well, it's. Uh, is it going to be a good crowd too, Joe? Like It'll be a good crowd. Very good. Yeah. Leggy, yeah. you're doing. The, you're going to go in and talk to the players and get them pumped. No, <laughs> no, I'm not good to do that. Oh, There's yeah. one guy from Montreal, though, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, maybe I'll go and talk to him yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little uh, French. No, he's not French. Uh, yeah, he is French. Okay, so I'll be, I'll be speaking in French. Can you still speak French? French? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have trouble with English. I know, but that's the way it goes, you know. <laughs> if, if I start speaking French to you, what are you going to do? Because you play in Montreal. You're supposed to learn French. Un right. petit peu. peu. Oh, c'est très bien. bien. Thank you very I much, Joe. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I just send this to Paul. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> who's, who, who's buying breakfast? Uh-oh. -uh. Did you have breakfast yet? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I gotta go back to work. You still working? I'm still working. <laughs> what the hell are you, you still, still working? selling lumber? Well, I'm working. No, I got out of that 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, what are you doing now? Selling labels, labels and carts.